Hello guys, Faycast here. I'm back with Let's Play Spider-Man. In the last episode, we took on Mysterio and defeated him after about the millionth try. And then we, um, then he told us where to go, where the symbiotes are being kept at. Uh, also, uh, I did end up missing one of the comic books in an er uh, in an earlier episode, and uh, when whenever you de destroy the first generator and that gate opens up where you webs uh, web sling over the fire, and how those three pipes burst right there, what happened was you are supposed to. User webbing on all three of them. I just missed the one in the bottom corner. So if you do that, the there will be a little furnace there, and it'll break and have some fire webbing along with the comic book behind it. So after doing that, I have three fourths of the comic books left to go. Yeah, so there's only eight more comics left in the game. And we will go to the Waterfront Warehouse, where there's actually two comic books in this level as well. And this is the final, uh, final chapter. I'm here, Frank. What's up? Spider-Man's here, Microchip. What range? A uh, hundred yards, maybe. Easy shot. Very funny, Frank. Uh-oh. Somebody Sp sees you. Oh, I the Punisher? What happened? What's he doing Took here? Scope. Hey, tough guy. Sorry about that expensive lens. Punisher. Something tells me we have the same objective here. That's the place. Warehouse. I can talk without moving my mouth up. too. You cover my back. Huh. No thanks, Mr. Deathwish. I'd like to keep the body count low if you don't mind. Fair enough. Punisher's guns can't solve this problem. Gotta play this one my way. Alright, well we're going to the waterfront warehouse. Yeah. Ah, the cliche seedy waterfront warehouse. I don't feel like listening to him. He just explains the waterfront warehouse. There's lots of uh, lots of symbiote generators here. Up, oh, stay away from me, bro. All right, four more generators. Oh, yay, we got Spidey on. Sweet. And now that we destroyed both generators in this room, we will have... Ooh, there's flame webbing up here too. Sweet. Alright. Well, let's head over... Uh, alright, next room is all the way up there. So yeah, we're actually, uh, getting really close to the end of the game. We're in part six of it already. But that doesn't mean we're almost completely done with the game. That just means we're almost done with the game itself. But there is some extra stuff that we can do, so I'll be doing that as well. And showing off a few more things. Oh, come on. Don't even start with me, bro. Alright. And there's comic book number one. And that's the only comic book in this room, so we'll go ahead and destroy the last of the two generators. Real quick. And now that the generators are destroyed... The last comic book will actually be in this room. Or at least somewhere in here. Um, yeah, it's at like the very end of the level. So we'll have to continue looking for that. I don't believe it's... No, that gate doesn't break. It's one later on. Like the concrete, the uh, I think back here. Does this one break? Nope. So we just drop down one more time. 
Nothing there. Spider sense tingling. Alright, basically hug the wall and don't drop down because you'll be killed by the fan. Um, anything over there? Noob. Anything over here? And this is the broken gate. Which it. will contain the comic book all the way back yeah, here. What do we have here. Also, we get some webbing and health. So now that we collected both of those comic books, uh, that is actually Hello. it for this level too. So we're down to six, six more comic books. Woo. What a rush. Which the next one is actually in this level. Oh, uh, we're at. Oh yeah, I remember this level. This level it can get uh, decently annoying, especially when going for the comic book. Be kidding. Okay, recap. A couple of hundred feet underwater, electrified floors and walls, and deadly turrets pointing straight at me. Oh, huh. that makes this level so much easier. And yeah, you do not want to drop to the floor below because you will die. A very, very painful death. Uh, don't even, don't even go there, you stupid turrets. So, you want to watch out for the turrets at the same time. Alright, so if you look over there... You can see there's a door below the one which we came through. And we have to unlock that. And as you can probably guess, that is what is holding the comic book. So, before we go any further here. Go ahead and grab that. And then the switch should be back here. Or not. Or the switch should be... I don't know where the switch is actually. Okay. I'm already full health. All right. Since there's no wait, um, ah, uh, don't kill me. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the switch is actually going to be in this next room coming up. Really? Oh, um, oh, there was a turret behind me, wasn't there? Yeah, these turrets are really, really annoying. Woo! What a rush! So we'll just grab the webbing, try to make it through this as quick as possible. Don't care what you have to say about the room. Not dealing with it right now. Don't shoot me out of the sky, you stupid turret. Grab up here. Okay, whoop. Um. Yeah, so as I've explained in previous episodes, I have a lot of uh, LPs actually planned out already. But if there's any suggestions that you guys have for games that you want me to LP, go ahead and uh, say so. Because I more than likely will LP it at some point. I just want a little feedback from you guys seeing what kind of games you would like to see and whatnot. So we make it back to this turret room. Now I don't see where I missed that turret at. I almost missed that one. I'm already at full health. Alright, yeah, that's the turret that I missed. Stupid devil turret. 
Don't be hurting me now. And definitely don't want to be swinging the wrong way here. God, these turrets do so much damage. Alright, just got web sling all the way over there. And hopefully there's health over here. Alright, there's a switch for the store all the way back here. And I will head that way after I pick up this health. Alright, now we get to backtrack, which is so, oh, so much fun. Not really, but. Yeah, Sue. Basically, just gotta backtrack your way through the turret rooms. Oof, that was close. I didn't know I was going to miss that. And, like I said, if you fall, you are definitely screwed. Because that electricity will kill you instantly. I mean, there's been times where I actually glitched it and didn't die from it, but... Uh, it's, I don't know what happened with that, but... Alright, see if I can make this landing. There we go. And we got the health, which we're full on that. We got the comic book and some more webbing. Now we get to go through the turret room once again. And then we can continue on with the level after that. And that is actually the only only comic book for this area web sling and yeah this is where your uh, web lock on actually helps out a lot otherwise it would be kind of hard to swing from these areas I mean, it can be done. I've done it without locking onto them before, but it's uh, rather difficult. Alright, we almost made it back through the turret rooms. Yay. Alright, and now we're back to where we were. And that takes us into yet another turret room. I believe this is the last turret room for the level, though. Okay, quit shooting the lasers. Yeah, tell me about it. Seriously, guys, stop shooting the lasers. I don't want you to be a fire in your lasers. Because it hurts a lot. And do you listen to me? No. But whatever. Hey, webbing. What's behind this door? Behind this door is the next level. But, that is it for this episode. So, uh, in the next episode, we will continue through this area and f find out what is controlling the symbiotes. So, I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Spider-Man. See you guys later.